ladies and gentlemen, congratulations to our highest bidder, $2,320,000. Hopefully we're going to be selling the home very soon. On behalf of the whole team at Phillips, Pairs and Donnelly, thank you. Most of us hope to own a house at some point in our lives. But with Sydney's property market rising by 15.6% in the last year, and its affordability deteriorating faster than any other mainland capital, the dream of home ownership is becoming less realistic. So should young professionals be working to reach this goal? Or is renting a better option? Michelle Hutchison from finder.com.au, a financial comparison website, admits that home ownership is a concern and perhaps renting really is the alternative. There is an issue where there's a lot of people out there that may not be able to afford their first home and that's because property prices are increasing and often young people want to live closer to the city in areas that are a lot more expensive. The good thing about renting is that you're not locked into a property with a big financial commitment. You have uh, more flexibility to move wherever you want and often you can afford to live in the areas that you may not be able to afford to buy in, um, which might be closer to the city for instance. While renting may be convenient at the time, Michelle explains that in the long run, it may not be worth it. Renting is a waste of money if you're not using the rest of your money wisely. The worst thing is that if you're not in um, a good position with the rest of your money, um, that's where you can get into trouble and not make renting worthwhile. 27-year-old Ilana Simons and her husband Adam were lucky enough to buy their first home at a young age. I would have been 23 and my husband would have been 28. My husband always thought that rent money was dead money, that's what all he used to say. So that's why I think that gave him the drive always to save up from a really young age. Like he started saving once he left school and worked and, and saved. We had um, had help from Adam's family in that his father had an investment property that he wanted to sell and we bought from him. And that sort of allowed us to get our foot in the door. Had we not had that then it would have been harder down the track to actually afford now on our next step, our next home. But not everyone is as lucky as these two were. We were very lucky because we have friends who are renting and had to leave because the you know, um, owner, the landlord, has changed their lease or changed, needed to um, renovate the property or whatever. Um, and I think it's when you when you buy and have it your own house of course you've got that security that that would never happen to you with current interest rates being as low as 2.5 percent the reserve bank of australia is worrying that young adults may take on more debt than they can handle real estate agent and property consultant expert leonie claric is all for getting into the property market at an early age I suppose I think it's quite interesting because you're trying to encourage young people to buy property and you're trying to encourage young people to have an asset and the Reserve Bank is saying no. I think they're just trying to be conservative and making sure that you don't overcommit yourself because a lot of people have overcommitted themselves. Try and, you know, pick an area that maybe is is not over, you know, flowing with first home buyers because you're going to be in a lot of competition with other first home buyers. So you want to try and just think outside the box a little bit. Try and buy something that's a little bit different that you can add value to. My advice always is make sure you've got repayments a year in advance. So you're always, you know, counting for those little extra things that happen. So that if you get sick or you get ill and you can't pay back, you've actually got a bit ahead of yourself. But don't lose sight of those dreams just yet. It's predicted that once interest rates begin to rise again, affordability will increase substantially. Shaili Rimmer, Metier.